Okay, we are back in Longview. I don't know if, if if you're watching this one and you didn't see the last one where I did the run without stopping, go check that one out. This is I'm jumping back to the spot where I was before I did that that run, so I could save. I have two different saves. Uh, but if you haven't seen that one yet, I'll kind of show you around what I did with the, the truck. It changed the color. Uh, it's kind of got a cool three-tone um, color to it. It's a longer longer sleeper now. Um, and I've got Gidget with me in the cab, which I'll show you her and a couple other things when we pick a job here. Okay, we are up here in Longview. And we are going to... Here's a double trailer. That's going to be a long drive. That will take us through Waco, Austin. Okay. Um, that's a double trailer. That's a long drive. I'll definitely have to sleep. Yeah, let's let's do that one. If we haven't done a, a, another, a, do another double trailer, we'll be good. And it'll claim us a couple more spots. We're going to have to stop and sleep, though. Because we've only got a couple hours left. I noticed... I've got... Well, here's here's Gidget. If you didn't see the last video. She's in there now. She's got her bed, a mouse. And this is our new sleeper. I think it's like a sleeper sofa. So you can sleep. Or that might be a, a pull-down bed or something. I'm not really sure because it's a different cab. Let us take a look at the GPS here. Oh, now if you take a look real close there, it's got down in the corner, it's got how long to get to the trailer pickup, the direction we're heading, and then the sleep time. And I noticed when you hit two hours is when you start yawning. So we want to try to, hopefully, before we start yawning, we'll stop and sleep. And this run, we are not going to run red lights, and we're going to use our blinker and things we did not do in the last episode. episode we're definitely going to have to get the truck fixed <laughs> to find out why or uh, how bad you'll have to go back go check that video out it's like I want to do the stops and stuff but after just refilming that other episode where I just ran every stop it makes it really hard to stop <laughs> it's like I just want to keep going
looks like one of those UTVs. <laughs> Driving on the main road. We have that here too. People on our, our the road going past my house. It's now it's the UTV trail route, which I'm not a fan of. Those things are noisy. Management double trailer. See where is she where is she blow? Yeah, there she is. Okay. trailer now. <laughs> this will be interesting. <coughs> I love the tricolor. It's like right now the cap looks red. And then other angles, it looks black, and then it looks like a blue tint. Oh, I also added those round mirrors to the bottom of my rear mirrors, which I love that because it shows you can see a lot better. Stop at the stop here and sleep. Just oh, here we got another one of those UTVs. Keep going. They're gonna let me go, huh? Oh, and he, he stops like he's gonna let me go, and then he runs into my side. Thanks, guy. <laughs> jump down here to the BP and hopefully that idiot didn't give me a, didn't damage my truck.
guess we can fill up first and then it'll kill a little more time. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to... gonna sleep right here so I don't have to pull into one of those spots and try to back out yeah see now it's four in the morning oh well well it'll start getting light after a time UTVs are probably really fun to drive. I wouldn't doubt it. I just wish they would drive somewhere else. <laughs> Not past my house. Mostly I feel bad for my good friends that live just on the road, that live on the main road. They don't have any, like, barrier between the UTVs and the cars and stuff and their house for noise wise you know you wonder who makes up these rules they're definitely not the people that live in the place that they make the rules for. <laughs>
98 pounds. stuff 
outside now that it's warmer. And then we'll usually eat supper real early. Um, we were in the winter, we were eating like at 5, 4, 30, 5 o'clock, 4, 4, 30, 5 o'clock. And now it's a little later, we've been eating a little bit later, like 5 and 6. And then watch a little TV and then about and then 8 o'clock. We'll either go out fishing at 8 till about 9.30. Or if it like yesterday it was raining. So I didn't, didn't go out fishing. So we just, about 8 o'clock, 8, 8.30 finish watching TV out in the living room, then I'll come in and play around the computer until probably 9.30, 10 o'clock, then get into bed and pretty much fall asleep. Watch TV for a little bit and then fall asleep. That's basically my typical day, and I love every minute of it. <laughs> it's incredible. Loving life for sure. I think about it like I wouldn't trade my life for anything you know it's, maybe a rich guy's life but then the thing is, is I don't really I live on very little money and I'm very happy I'm thinking more money would just it would be nice to have more so it could you know like for maintaining stuff and, and stuff like that, but life is definitely not about money. Colder 
weather so you can bundle up. I like to be able to bundle up in bed, not, you know, sweat. I like to be able to have covers on to sleep well. But then summer's good too, because then in summertime you get to see more family and stuff, because with the winter you're kind of snowed in, we don't go anywhere. And, you know, I, I do like all times of year. It, summer would be better if it would stay in the 60s, but <laughs> that, that's just, unfortunately, it won't happen. It's beautiful this morning. It's been raining all morning, but it was 58, I think, at 8 o'clock this morning. supposed to get up to the low 70s today, which should be cool, but it's supposed to rain pretty much all day. I do have a lot of stuff I want to do outside. I'm going to try to get that deck built before before the 4th. And I have some trees to trim back so I can use my new pier so we can actually cast from it for fishing off of it. Once I get those trimmed back, I'll definitely make some fishing videos off of that deck, just to, off that pier, just to see if we can't catch something off of it. I remember as a kid, we had a, had a short dock off of there my grandma always fished off of. And I've got pictures of holding up a, I think it was a crappie from fishing off there. We used to catch perch, really big northerns. We used to catch off of that dock too. And, um, and then walleyes and stuff too. Not as much the walleyes anymore because um, there's a bridge that's not too far away that connects Anderson Island to our to the main road and it used to be a culvert so it was just a pipe well they put a bridge in well that changed the water the way the water flows towards the to the river so it, it changed the behavior of a lot of the fish and stuff so we did we have been catching a lot of walleyes but back when like my grandma and grandpa first got this re this resort it used to be a resort. Um, you know, he, he, my grandpa to tell stories about putting the dock in in the spring and needing to watch a step because the walleyes were so thick on the shoreline spawning that you had to watch where you were stepping. And well, now this lake is not like that anymore. It's unfortunate. It used to be. A, Incredible. When I was a kid, be able to go out when my dad was a kid, you know, and fishing on the lake, there was always tons of walleyes. For some reason, they decided to change it to more of a musky lake. And if I'm going to fish for something, I want something I can eat. And walleye is my favorite, and I just wish they would have left that alone and kept it walleye. Not muskies. We've got three and a half hours left before our delivery spot, and we still have eight hours on our sleep time, so that should be good. I think I'm riding with my lights on, am I? I think I am. Yeah, I was riding with my lights on. Which everybody rides with their lights on now, because they're daytime or running lights. It's just something that's built into the vehicles these days.
think I like doing the, the, the drives this way. It's a lot more relaxing than you know, trying to see how fast you can get there without really crashing the truck. It was fun though. Hopefully everybody likes that video too. That way I can mix it up and do when I do a video like this I'll always try to make a video like that if it's something you want to see. college 
and they would come they would follow right behind me and they followed me out to the pond in the front yard and well they hadn't had a chance to get waterproofed yet by the mom and they would be swimming and diving under and stuff and they would come over to me and stand next to me until I was done drying them off with the paper towel they would come over and stand right next to me and I would dry them off with the paper towel and then they would right when they were done getting dried off they would go run jump back in the water and start diving again it was so cute and when they would all get tired they would come up and they would all gather up in a ball in my arms and sleep they got big quick I tried to keep them in my room that was a mistake because Boy, they're cute, but boy, they stink. <laughs> they smell bad when they're, you know, they poop and stuff. It's just, woof. So I, I had made a cage for them, had them out in the garage. But then I eventually, because I was getting ready to leave on vacation, and I was contemplating bringing them along, but then I'm like, okay, do I really want them? in a cage in the car with me in that smell <laughs> so it was like so I actually gave them to uh, a little farm that had other baby dog rescues and they kind of you know, integrated themselves in with the other ducks and stuff and that was I went back and visited them a couple times and stuff they they really didn't remember me but it was neat to see that they were doing so well. I think they ended up flying south.
up quicker than that. I went that whole run without getting damaged, and then I do on the gate going into the facility to drop off the trailer. Us to do. Yeah, I'm just gonna deliver it. Second episode of the day. I'm tired. <laughs> Another excellent. Yes. Let's see. We did 568 miles. It took 40. What? 41 minutes. Oh, that's 41 minutes real time. I was like, wait a minute. It takes eight hours to go 450 miles in real life. So I would think 568 uh, miles would be, you know, like nine hours, ten hours, you know, ten hours, eleven hours, maybe, <laughs> maybe more. Seventy-six gallons. That's a little more to par. <laughs> and we hit 145. Sweet. Boy, we're really close to level 33. Picked up another four thousand seven hundred seventy-eight dollars. Nice. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.